Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are 10 romances I think y'all should pick up this summer. I'm gonna be honest, summer is not my favorite time of year. It is too hot. I <laughs> Texas heat is like a whole thing in and of itself, but then add on like summer heat, it's absolutely awful. Like I am hating how it's feeling right now outside and it's May and I'm dying. It's just gonna get worse from here. So summer's not my favorite season specifically because of the weather, but instead of going outside, I like to curl up with a book in my AC with a fan on, okay? <laughs> here are 10 romances I would recommend to y'all read in the AC <laughs> during summer or on the beach, whatever you wanna do. Um, but yeah, here are 10 romances that I think give off summer vibes. First, I have People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I honestly think that probably any book by Emily Henry is going to be giving you summer vibes. I've only read this book and Beach Read. However, Beach Read was not my favorite compared to People We Meet on Vacation. This is a friend still of romance. Our heroine and hero were best friends in college. And this book kind of has like two different timelines. You have the present day chapters where the two of them are older and they are not friends anymore. And you're trying to figure out why. And that's why the flashback chapters happen to when they are in college and it's exploring their relationship how they became friends and all that jazz um and then you're trying to figure out why aren't they friends anymore in the present day so back during their college years they used to go on vacations a lot together kind of like vacations to where they would try and save the most money like they'd go on like weird vacations in the middle of nowhere just to save a buck and the heroine has an opportunity in the present day to do that again and she reaches out to the hero like one last time how about we go on vacation together even though we haven't really spoken in a while like how about we just do it he's like okay let's do it present day chapters are about them going on this wild <laughs> vacation when they haven't seen each other in years they look know like basically nothing about the other person in present day um and so yeah i'm trying to figure out what happened all those years ago but this does take place on a vacation the two of them are out in the sun there's even one one scene that i i do not envy the characters for where their ac like breaks in their hotel room i would be leaving as soon as possible i don't care <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. So um, definitely a summer read you should pick up. One Hot Italian Summer by Karina Halley. Oh, this one was really good. So our heroine is a writer and she's kind of experienced some writer's block. And so her agent, I think it's her agent or her manager, something along those lines, recommends that she goes to her house. She has like a villa in... I think Italy, right? I think it takes place in Italy. So she tells her heroine like, hey, I have this house that you can go stay at. How about go escape there? Like during this time, get some, get some juices flowing, you know, with your writing. She gets there, it's beautiful, it's amazing. She's tanning out by the pool, like getting in some rays. And then she notices that a man and a little boy like walk in the backyard and she's like, uh, who are y'all? And they're like, uh, why are you at our house? Turns out her manager, agent, whoever she is, failed to tell the heroine that like her ex and her kid live in that house. <laughs> and this is the romance with that ex and the heroine. And so she's trying not to have these feelings because like that's her agent manager's ex and her kid. So it's a single dad romance. The heroine is an author, um, but I loved reading about Italy in this book it was oh, it was so beautiful like i want to go so bad i want to go to italy so bad and this book just was perfection i feel like it made me want to go even more 40 love by olivia dade is my next one our heroine is on vacation with her best friend at this resort this book starts out with when she's like exploring the ocean just hanging out in the ocean um when a, like a wave comes by and takes her top with it and um she notices some kids like trying to get in the ocean and she's like oh crap i cannot be flashing children she's a principal at a school she's like oh no i cannot be flashing children the only other person close by is this hunky beefy like very attractive younger man and she's like she basically grabs him and plastics her chest to his back to <laughs> to make sure that the children don't see her um and that's the hero and heroine's first meeting is uh she has no top, top on um turns out he is the tennis instructor at the resort he used to be a very famous tennis player and yeah he is younger than her so it's a little bit of an age gap there that's a little bit of the conflict too the heroine's like why would you want to be with someone older than you but the hero is completely smitten for the heroine like right from the get-go her best friend kind of like medals in this situation and sets the heroine up to do tennis lessons with the hero without her knowing. So when she shows up to the tennis lessons that are already paid for and all that jazz, she's like, oh crap, guess I'm gonna have to go through with this. Um, and so yeah, these two like get to know each other while they play tennis together. And I love the like beach resort setting. Definitely gave me summer vibes. A staple is obviously the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is in hate to love romance our heroine her sister is getting married um and then the 
groom's brother is, that's her romance. Okay, the groom's brother is who she's having a romance with, who is the best man at the wedding. She's the maid of honor. Um, anyway, the two of them that don't like each other, the heroine who is the bridesmaid, uh, the maid of honor, and then the hero who is the um, best man, they're the only two people who don't eat from the buffet during the wedding and uh, everyone else gets food poisoning. And so the heroine sister, like the bride and groom can't go on their honeymoon, which was like a paid trip somewhere that the sister won. And so if they don't go on the trip though, like they have to pay for it, even though they won it for free. So the um, bride is like, hey, how about you just go in my place? That way, like no one has to pay for it and you get to go on the trip for free. She's like, okay, I'm sold. What she doesn't expect is that the best man is gonna be taking the groom's place. <laughs> and she's not very happy about that. So the two of them have to like fake be together while on this vacation. If you're getting into romance and you definitely haven't read this book yet, you need to this summer. It is like one of the biggest, I think one of the most popular summer vibe books that I've I've ever heard of. <laughs> also be aware this is a closed door romance. So if that's not your style, maybe you should skip this one. Next I have Mickey Chambers Shakes It Up by Cherish Reed. This one gives me all the summer like feel good vibes. Like look at this cover, isn't it so cute. The heroine here, Mickey, she has hypothyroidism, I'm pretty sure, um, which is a chronic illness and she's really struggling to pay her medical bills. Right now she is a college professor. During the summer, um, she does a college writing course online. She like doesn't do it like in person. It's like an online one, um, but still not paying her medical bills. So she needs another job. So she decides to apply to this bar that the hero here owns um and she gets hired and things get a little bit complicated when they figure out that diego the hero is a student in her college writing class so it's a little bit of an interesting dynamic because like she is his teacher but also his employee and then he's her boss also in this bar so it's just a fun cute romance i feel like it gave me like super cute feel good summery vibes i don't know if this next one takes place during summer but it gives me all the summery good vibes that's so cute right flawless by Elsie Silver. I feel like if you have not picked this book up yet, you need to, or any Elsie Silver book, I feel like it's gonna give you that cute, but hot factor that you need this summer. Plus the heroine in here, her name is Summer. So why why not? Just put it on this list, obviously. Um, So this is the romance between Summer and Rhett. Rhett is a professional bull rider. He kind of gets in the doghouse with a few of his sponsors. He says some like not great things in the public eye and he kind of needs to clean up his image and he needs a PR babysitter. Enter our heroine who is his manager's daughter. And she goes on his ranch that he stays at with his family to kind of like babysit him essentially. Um, make sure he's not getting anything with the media or hooking up with girls or whatever the case may be. And this is the two of them falling in love. It is so cute, but hot. Okay, Elsie Silver knows how to do the cute but hot trope for sure. If you're wanting a YA read, I definitely have to recommend Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. This one does take place during summer um, and I think it's so stinky cute. This is Talia Hibbert's first young adult book. I normally don't recommend young adult books on my channel because I don't really read them anymore, but this is one that I would definitely recommend if you're into YA, because um, I'm normally not into YA anymore. I just, I feel like I've grown past that, but I, I needed to read this obviously because it's Talia Hibbert. She's like top five favorite authors for me. So our two characters in here, they are frenemies. Okay, they used to be best friends and now they're enemies. They don't really speak to each other in the hallways. I don't know why. Okay, at the beginning of this book, you don't, at the beginning of this book, you don't know why they're frenemies, why they're not friends anymore, but they used to be like best buds would do everything together. There is this scholarship that the both of them are after that requires them to go on this kind of like camp out and they're kind of paired up during this camp out situation. Um, and it's kind of like the shenanigans that happen during this camp out. And it's also about them sparking their friendship up again and then possibly it turning into something more. It was so stinking cute. If you want a summer read that takes place in the wilderness, camping and whatnot, I definitely recommend this one. Next I have Rush by Candy Steiner. This one I don't think takes place during the summer, maybe a little bit at the beginning because this is a college series. This is the first book in a series all about these um, characters that are in college and it reads very much like a TV show, kind of like Gossip Girl, but like with frats and sororities at a college. Like it's it's really interesting. I've only read this first book. I am interested in reading the other ones, um, but this one gives me like fun vibes, which definitely gives me summer vibes on top of that. I know this doesn't take place during summer, but 
I feel like summer you're also preparing for college or new beginnings. That's definitely what a lot of our characters are doing in here. But it's just like the story of all these different characters getting in relationships, friendships while entering college and getting into sororities and fraternities. It's actually pretty fun. It's very dramatic. And I do feel like this book is very slept on compared to Candy's other books. Next I have Take a Chance by Nico May. So I believe our two characters are on vacation, their own separate vacations at this, I think, resort, if I want to say. Um, the hero, I think, is there for his brother and then his girlfriend. They decided to do like a joint bachelor bachelorette party and they decided to vacation here. And the heroine was going to go on vacation with her best friend, but I think her best friend got sick and she's not able to go anymore. So she was like, I'll just go by myself. I'll go have fun by myself. The two of them at the beginning of this book meet at the bar and um, they are very attracted to each other. And it kind of is like them having this fling during their vacation at this resort. But then um, they slowly realize, oh, I don't think I want this to end when this vacation ends. Um, it's really hot. Another quick short read is Pool Girl by Cassie Mint. Obviously this cover is giving summer vibes, but the heroine, she is interesting. She has this interesting job where she is a mermaid as a job. Like she works, I think in an aquarium or an amusement park of some kind where she has to be a mermaid and swim in a pool and pretend to be a mermaid. And she also just loves the water. So whenever she gets off of work a lot of the time, she'll just like get on her floaty at the pool in her apartment complex and just like float in the pool. She loves the water. But there's another reason why she does this. That's because she has a huge crush on the maintenance guy who works at the apartment complex and his office, just like his window for his office, looks out over the pool and she wants to get him interested in her. But he is older than her and he has taken an interest in her. But he's like, I'm never gonna do anything because she's younger than me, she's beautiful, she's so small, I'm huge, I'm scarred, I'm burly, like she'd never want me, but she does, don't worry. So if you want like a quick Cassie Mint summary fun read, I definitely recommend Fool Girl. Anyway, so you have it, those are 10 reads that'll get you in the summer mood. Let me know down below if you've read any of these or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me any summer emoji below, the sun, is there a pool floaty? I don't know, any summer related emoji. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.